Hey guys, this is a video on how to make a backup battery pack for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Alright, what you're going to need for this project is a uh, car charger. I'll have one in the description that you can get it really cheap. It's like one or two dollars. You're going to need a 9 volt battery connector. I'll have this in the description too. It's like around two dollars or something. And you're going to need a 9 volt battery. I guess around two dollars too, so. Whole project, basically six bucks. So, you're also going to need duct tape and um, a Leatherman thing. Um, you probably already have these around the house though. Um, heat shrink tubing and soldering iron are optional. You can if you want. It uh, might make it a little more sturdy. Okay, first, what you want to do is you're going to take your car charger and you want to pry it open. Alright, so when you get it open, it should look something like this. I think most car chargers are the standard uh, look to them. So, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clip this cord. Uh, so, take your leather thing, give it a little bit of extra room, and just clip this. And down on the iPhone end, you're going to want to take clippers again and clip it uh, give it a little room again clip it like right there so you have this part if you want you can save this there's a lot of extra wire in here to use for a later project so set that aside and you want to take these two ends and strip away the outside rubber tubing okay so once you have both ends you have both ends stripped down, upper wire, or whatever, uh, on both ends, like that. So there should be two different wires in the car charger. So once you've done that, uh, you want to just reconnect them. It just works fine, but make sure that they don't connect or it'll short circuit. Okay, so once you have them all connected up, it should just look like this. Then next, what you want to go to... I want to do is take your battery connector and you're going to want to find out which one is the positive and negative. Uh, if your car charger has a light on it like mine does, see how it lights up? So now I want to connect these two wires uh, to the positive and negative terminals of the car charger. Okay, so once you have everything all wired up, it should just be like this. So, uh, another thing I could have mentioned is if you want, you can put uh, a switch in there. That's not necessary. Like, what I usually do is when I connect two terminals, uh, see, it lights up. When I want to turn it off, I just, like, undo one and just have it on that way or take the battery out altogether. So, next what you want to do is we're going to make it a little more compact. It will fit right in your pocket. At first, I would suggest insulating these, uh, all the open or exposed metal parts. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to like bend everything over each other, thing like that. Okay, so once you finish, it should look something like this. Uh, everything all taped up with the phone uh, jack. I, I made like a little battery holder on mine, so whenever I want to turn it on, I just plug it in like that, and the lights go on right there. Uh, so if I get phone and plug it in, it'll say charging. And another thing I thought, you could you could uh, put this in something like an old Altoids tin to make it look a little better. I'll let you guys experiment with that. But anyway, that is how to make an iPhone battery pack. 